Greetings, welcome back to Southpaw and the RC Maintenance Series. Thanks very much for joining us. And if you've missed any episodes, I will put a link at the end of the video for the entire playlist. Today, we're going to be looking at your differentials. And we're going to be greasing them up, making sure they've got plenty of lubrication. So in order to get to the diff here, we need to take off the diff from the uh, central plate and disconnect all the arms here on the sides. So we're going to do that rather quickly. I'll speed that up for you. Okay, so we have disassembled the arms from the diff, as it were. These, these will stay attached to the central section. So we're now going to turn her over. And as you can see, there's four screws there holding in the diff onto the body plate. So we're going to take those off. Okay, now that should mean that the diff and the body pan are now separate. We've just got to take these two screws here out. This plate is actually sat on a lip on top of the diff. Okay, so we just pop that forward there. Ah, oh, we've got to take out those two screws there on the front of the bumper. Okay, that's good. Now we can lift the diff away. And there's the diff. Now we're going to slide. This is the absoma. This has got a very strange setup. As you can see, it's got a U-shaped bar holding on your suspension. So we're going to slip that out like so. And there we have the diff separated. We can swing those round. We could take those arms off. We could disassemble these here. I'm actually going to leave them in place for now because we're only having an exploratory look. So we've got three screws. One here, if I turn that focus, one here, one here, and one here. And that's going to take that whole front cover away from the diff. Right, so we can see here we've got the diff cover. We're just going to lift this off. And there we can see the full metal gearing. If that's going to focus, excellent. Now that is actually very well greased. Not a problem there. That's moving very nicely. The bearings are in good working order. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add a dob of oil to the bearings just to give them an extra bit of um, lubrication. And I'm actually going to throw some copper grease around this central um, bearing here. Just gonna throw some copper grease around, around that just as an extra lubricant. So first off, we'll get the copper grease. Now this stuff, very gloopy. Um, you don't have to use expensive diff greases. If you're racing and you're using um, high-end cars, then I would suggest that you, you, you shell out for the parts. But this stuff um, is available in, in car shops and, and Halfords and maintenance stop shops all over the world. Um, it's, you can buy it by a sort of half litre tin as well. So it's much cheaper to buy than tiny little pots of, of diff oil. And this copper grease works um, exceptionally well for um, high temperatures when, when you get warm uh, gears. So this is perfect for using on your diffs. So we're just going to paint on some copper grease. Just hold that round, paint it on. This will blend quite well with the grease that's already on there, but it will add extra high temperature running efficiency to the oil, to the grease. Just turn that round. Get that nicely lubed. So there we go. Now taking a clean brush, just gonna give those bearings just a quick wipe round to make sure there's no grit and uh, debris on the bearing. So we're giving the bearing a bit of a clean. We're just gonna dab a little bit of oil around it. There, like so. 
give it a little bit of lubrication in the bearing itself. Excellent. And the same on the other side. We're going to dab just a little tiny bit of three and one around the ring there. Let that soak into the bearing. So let's get this diff cover back on. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of the grease into the diff cover. Just about a little bit more. And then we will slip it back onto the top of the diff. Like that. That clicks back into place. And then we screw it down. Don't tighten them all, don't, don't tighten one screw straight really, really tightly first off. Get them all located, get them all into place so that they're just starting to tighten before you actually tighten them. When you're tightening, these are plastic mounts uh, with metal screws. If you over tighten them, you will crack out the mounts, uh, splitting these little cups. You see the little cup that the, the, the screw sits in. If you over tighten them, you'll crack those and shatter them and then the diff cover is essentially not being held on at all. So do not over tighten. Um, you can, if you want to, thread lock these screws. So we shut the seam there, tighten that right up. Let's check the diff is working fine. That sounds lovely. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is as easy as it gets for fixing your diff. This obviously has got to be relocated back onto the drive shaft underneath here. If I lift that up, you can just probably just about see the drive shaft's head. So you'll need to put that little cup back onto the drive shaft as you're fitting it in. And don't forget, before you do that, any uh, extraneous crap in here, you want to make sure that's cleaned out well. And then you want to make sure it just sits that cup, sits that bar into the cup, and then back with the four screws. So. We're going to put this bar back in here that's holding the uh, suspension arms on. Just rub that through and this one as well. Slide them through all the way to the top. Make sure they're linked in through both sections. There we go. One. Oh, fiddly. There we go. Two. So those are back on and obviously they'll stay flat. So you just need on this particular model, the Absoma, we need to line those holes up there so these are going to be our holes where the fix back onto the uh, onto the car so this is really the only fiddly part that you're going to have is making sure that the uh, drive shaft clips back into place make sure you're cupped in at this end with your drive shaft and then holding on to the drive shaft line up your, your uh, cup and your arms, just push those in like that. And you can see that was a little fiddly, but once it's in there, it's job done. So now we're gonna first off, put these two screws back on the top here, just to secure the setup. Right there in place. So now we're going to flip it over, putting the screws back in. We're just going to add a dab of thread lock to these screws. So holding the diff in place, just pinch them together. Put that screw in, not all the way in. So now we're going to take one of the others, thread lock that as well. Stick that in the hill, straight through. Let's screw that one in again, but not all the way tight just yet. I want to keep the pressure even over all four screw holes. Now we can do them up tight. Good, good, good. Turn it back over and we can see that the suspension is still functioning, not connected yet, but working fine. There are no gaps in here. So there she is, sat back in place. Just got to reconnect the bumper section and the arms. 
So as you can see, greasing your diff doesn't have to be a nightmare. Yes, there are some fiddly bits, especially getting the drive shaft back on the diff. But other than that, if you take your time and you just stay calm, it's really quite simple. And you don't have to spend a lot of money on the highly expensive uh, diff oils. You can get some very cheap, very effective alternatives. All right, thanks very much for joining us on this episode of the RC Maintenance Series. I hope you join us on the next one. Mm.